Good morning, Chattanooga. I hope everybody is having a great morning. This is an awesome day, even if it's not Chamber of Commerce weather. Um, so really appreciate everybody being here this morning. My name is Charles Wood. I'm president and CEO for the Chattanooga Area Chamber. Um, first and foremost, I want to welcome you to our 2024 Small Business Awards. Um, they are presented today by Chandler, Bonner, and Stoffel PC and Six Strong Media. Um, so thank you very much for, for those two key sponsors. Um, I want to thank you as well for our chamber members that are here. Um, I'd, I'd like to thank our elected officials that are here. And then finally, I'd like to thank our board members if I could. So if you sir, currently serve on the chamber board, if you would stand up really quick so you could be recognized by this group. I would like to go ahead and thank our sponsors. And uh, so if we can kind of get that going here. Um, again, Chambler Bonner and, Bonner and Stoppel and Six Strong Media are our presenting sponsors. I'd also like to, to thank our other sponsors at this event. Our platinum sponsors are Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee, EPB and Sandler Training. And our gold sponsors are the Chattanooga Airport, the Chattanooga Theater Center, First Horizon, Food City, Grandview, PNC Construction, Pinnacle Financial Partners, Santa Fe, Truist, Unum, and Volkswagen Chattanooga. If y'all could give me, uh, give them a quick hand of applause. And while you guys are eating, I'm gonna, I just want to kind of touch base on a couple things. Uh, excited to have you, and we've got a, a great lineup today. Um, but what I really want to start with is to talk about our purpose. So our purpose here at the Chamber is to build a thriving Chattanooga. And for us, I want to talk about a little bit about what that means. Um, I would say that our team is incredibly committed to that purpose. Um, we have a, a great group of staff here. That, that make events like this possible. But that purpose means a lot for the businesses that are in this community, right? So how do we build a thriving Chattanooga? And many of the people that are, are in this room are stewards of companies that are here. They are employees, they are great team members, they are leading enterprises uh, across Chattanooga. But there are a few people in the room that are founders. And I wanna talk about that for a minute. Um, because our founders for the, for the companies that are here, um, they've undertaken a significant, a significant amount of challenges that they've undergone. And I, I think taking a moment to think about what it takes to start a business from scratch at the very beginning is a, a really big deal. And so I want y'all to, to, to walk with me through this and really think about some of the business founders that you know, not just owners, but folks who started a company with nothing. There, there was no name when they started, right? They had to come up with a name. They hired their very first employee. They probably had to ask a family member for money, right? Not a fun experience. They, they likely had to work through really challenging issues. Um, they may have had to fire their partner. They may have been sued. They worked through a really tough time. They grounded out in the trenches for their company from the very beginning, and they did it to build something bigger than themselves. In almost every case, every founder I've met, someone who started a company from scratch, they were thinking about their family, and they were thinking about building something that was bigger than themselves. And, and that's an incredible thing, and I, I think I, wanna, I really want to give those founders that are here in the room some credit. So if you are a founder, if you are someone who literally had to come up with a name for your company, hired your first employee, would you please stand? So we're here to celebrate some founders and a few companies that are here, um, but I, I do wanna thank those folks who are out there that have made this such a, such a big step for their lives and the impact on Chattanooga. They're working without a net. There's not a, there's not a safety net for most of these folks. Um, they, they, again, they built this with their two hands, a lot of sweat equity, and that probably doesn't do it justice. 
Um, and that brings me back to our purpose. So if you want to have a thriving Chattanooga, you have to have thriving businesses. There is no way to create a thriving Chattanooga without the business community being successful. And so again, we're gonna celebrate some folks today. Um, and I really just wanna thank those folks that are here and the impact they've made on the community. So if you want a thriving Chattanooga, you need new jobs, you need new investment, you need people that are building companies, and that's what these folks are doing. So thank y'all for being here. I'm gonna introduce Stratton Tingle in a little bit. Um, y'all please uh, enjoy your lunch, and uh, we'll get started in a bit. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce, I'm gonna, in I'm going to interrupt what I know are some great conversations happening. We're going to go ahead and get started um, with our award ceremony today. We have some great companies we want to recognize, um, and we have some help that I'm going to bring up on the stage. And so um, I got to start working with Stratton Tingle um, about 12 years ago when I, I first took the job at the Chattanooga Chamber, and he was with us um, and brings a ton of energy to this community. He has led Soundcore now for quite a while as their executive director. He has been awesome and brought music to our city uh, in, a, in a great way, in a powerful way, and so really excited to introduce Stratton Tingle, who's gonna be our host today. Hello, Chamber, what's up? Welcome to lunch. How's everybody doing? I know it's like sleepy time for a lot of y'all, but uh, let's go ahead, like, you know, uh, get the collars straightened up, sit up in the seat, because we have an amazing awards event for you today. Uh, thank you for joining our 2024 Small Business Awards presented by Chambliss, Bonner & Stoffel, and Six Strong Media. Here's a look at what's in store today. First, we'll recognize the nonprofits that contribute to our success and quality of life. Then, we'll shine the spotlight on small businesses making a big difference in our economy. We have three categories of small businesses to recognize today, starting with our 1 to 20 employee businesses. Then, we'll celebrate businesses with 21 to 50 employees. And finally, businesses with 51 to 300 employees. Before we begin, I want to give a special shout out to our Small Business Awards committee, committee volunteers. Many of our Chamber member volunteers have given more than one year to this effort as part of the Chamber Small Business Awards. They volunteer time and time again, year after year. They're a dedicated group of individuals. Every single committee member reads through the many applications we receive every year, and then committee members visit each finalist in person. They evaluate each organization in terms of measurable goals and strong financials. They're enthusiastic, knowledgeable, dedicated, and you'll notice that today's presenters represent businesses who won last year's awards in their respective categories. So at this time, I'll ask the Small Business Awards Committee members to stand and please be recognized for your hard work as part of this. All right, are we ready to get started? I have the pleasure of introducing someone who truly embodies the spirit of excellence and compassion. But he's too modest for that description, so I'll also note that he showed up to yesterday's run through covered in cat hair, and that, that works for him because he works at the Chattanooga Zoo. Please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Jake Cash. It was not exotic cat hair, I just have a cat. Um, <laughs> so that's where that came from. But yeah, it's an honor being up here today. Like he said, my name is Jake Cash. I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications at the Chattanooga Zoo. And it's an honor getting to just briefly speak to three amazing nonprofits in our community. I think we all know that Chattanooga is full of so many wonderful nonprofits who do so much work. Uh, to bring us all together, to lift the community up together, to make it a better place for everyone. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to watch three different videos, of course, each of which highlighting a different finalist. So first of all, we're going to watch the Austin Hatcher Foundation. So I'd like to introduce uh, that group. I think I got my talking points right here. So the Austin Hatcher Foundation, uh, they've been making a difference in the lives of children and families facing an unimaginable battle for almost 20 years. Um, so I'd like you to direct your attention to the video screen right now to learn a little bit more about them.
Since its establishment in 2006, the Austin Hatcher Foundation has been a lifeline for families grappling with pediatric cancer. Founded in memory of their son, Austin Hatcher Osborne, the Osborne family recognized a gap in resources for families dealing with childhood cancer and transformed their grief into a mission. Today, AHF stands as the nation's sole 100% free pediatric cancer foundation, offering a comprehensive range of services to families from diagnosis through survivorship. AHF provides evidence-based therapies, counseling and family programs led by licensed clinicians, all at no cost to families. Since its inception, AHF has provided over $25 million worth of services, all without billing insurance. Through programs like occupational therapy, counseling, art and music therapy, and grief groups, they address the holistic needs of families facing pediatric cancer. These services, offered at the Education Advancement Center, help children and families navigate the challenges of cancer treatment and cope with the emotional and psychological aspects of the disease. With a commitment to erasing the effects of childhood cancer, the Austin Hatcher Foundation is making a lasting impact on families in the Chattanooga region and beyond. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so Austin Hatcher Foundation does wonderful work. We definitely appreciate them. The next finalist is Chattanooga Preparatory School. Uh, they provide transformative education to students of all backgrounds in our community. So let's turn our attention to the screen once more and watch their video. Chattanooga Preparatory School, established in 2018, is a standard of educational excellence for young men in urban communities. Located in Highland Park, Chattanooga Prep offers a transformative educational experience focused on academic excellence, character development, and leadership skills. The school not only focuses on academic success, but also on building resilience and promoting community engagement. This commitment to equity ensures that every student, regardless of background, has the opportunity to excel. The school actively partners with local organizations and businesses to provide students with valuable opportunities for growth and development. Through internships, mentorships, and real-world experiences, students are connected to the broader community, enriching their educational journey. Under the leadership of dedicated faculty and staff, Chattanooga Prep continues to achieve remarkable academic success. The school's commitment to excellence is evident in its high academic achievement scores, which rank among the highest in both Hamilton County and the state. As Chattanooga Prep continues to inspire, empower, and educate the men of tomorrow, it is creating a lasting impact on the Chattanooga region, shaping future leaders and contributing to a stronger, more vibrant community. Awesome. And then our third and final finalist here has provided a century of service to our community. You all know them, the Northside Neighborhood House. So let's watch their video as well. For over a century, Northside Neighborhood House has been a place of hope and empowerment for Chattanooga's North Shore community. Founded in 1924, NNH has evolved to meet the changing needs of its neighbors, offering stability assistance, educational programs, and community support. From providing rent and utility assistance to offering educational programs and low-cost clothing options, NNH addresses the diverse needs of its community. This comprehensive approach reflects NNH's commitment to creating lasting change and empowering individuals to thrive. NNH's impact extends beyond its programs. Through partnerships with local organizations and businesses, NNH is creating a network of support for its community. 
This collaborative approach ensures that individuals and families receive the resources and assistance they need to succeed. As NNH enters its next century of service, it remains committed to its mission of promoting independence and empowerment. Through its innovative programs and unwavering dedication, NNH is shaping a brighter future for Chattanooga's North Shore community. Awesome, three wonderful finalists. I'm sure choosing the winner was a really difficult decision, but now we cannot wait anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and announce the winner of the nonprofit category this year is Northside Neighborhood House. So if somebody from Northside Neighborhood House would like to join me up here, that would be wonderful. Hi, my name is Rachel Gammon. I'm the CEO of the Northside Neighborhood House. I first just want to recognize the Chamber for including nonprofits in this small business recognition. My greatest mentor, Paul Fitzgerald, always told me that we needed to run our nonprofits like a business, and I know that that is why we have been successful through the years. Um, our staff gathered out at Double G in the northern end of the county on Friday, and we talked about what was most impactful to them um, celebrating 100 years of service. And what we heard from our almost 70 employees over and over again was how we have kept relationships at the center of what we do and have evolved through the years to just respond to the needs of our neighbors. And so I thank you the Hamilton County community just for investing in our work, for supporting our stores, for supporting our community school efforts and our stability efforts, and um, just am humbled and uh, full of gratitude for this recognition. Thank you. Congratulations to the Northside Neighborhood House. It is time to recognize the small but mighty businesses in our one to 20 employee category. Please welcome our presenter, whom I've had the pleasure of working with for years through my own participation in BNI, Christine Record. Thank you, Stratton. It's great to be here and it's, it's great to be back. As a small business, we know that with a strong and motivated team, small companies can accomplish great things. The first finalist has found a way to turn a near tragedy into a business that saves lives. This is CPR Wrap. Let's watch their journey together. Founded on a deeply personal experience in 2002, CPR Wrap has evolved beyond a business. It has become a life-saving mission. From the initial spark of an idea in 2010 to the award of their patent in 2019, CPR Wrap has been driven by a commitment to simplicity and effectiveness. Collaborating closely with medical experts, they've crafted a clear guide for performing CPR and empowering individuals of all backgrounds to act decisively during emergencies. At CPR Wrap, their mission is clear, to equip everyone with the knowledge and tools to save lives effectively. Their commitment to simplicity, usability, and inclusivity sets them apart. In Chattanooga and beyond, CPR Wrap positively impacts communities by putting life-saving tools directly into the hands of neighbors. Additionally, as they grow, they're creating job opportunities locally, strengthening communities while boosting employment. Highlighted by real-life success stories and appearing in high-profile publications like the Forbes Next 1000 list, CPR Wrap continues to make waves in emergency readiness. 
At CPR Wrap, the journey is about more than just numbers or accolades. It's about making a tangible difference, one life at a time. That's amazing. The second finalist is Brain Training to Chattanooga. Let's check out Learning RX. Here is their story. Learning RX has been a cornerstone of cognitive training in the greater Chattanooga area for over 14 years. Starting in 2012, the organization experienced remarkable growth and community engagement, driven by a commitment to transforming lives through cognitive training. Learning RX's mission is clear, to empower individuals in the greater Chattanooga region to learn and perform better, faster, and easier. What makes Learning RX unique is their core values helpfulness, integrity, responsibility, excellence, and passion. Learning RX's commitment to excellence is reflected in their accolades, including awards for customer service, business ethics, and community impact. Their client success stories are a testament to their effectiveness. With a five-star Google rating and a net promoter score of 9.7, Learning RX positively impacts the Chattanooga region through community collaboration and support. Team members conduct training programs with local organizations and partner with schools to provide on-site training opportunities. They also host a summer reading program to support literacy efforts in Chattanooga. Their vision is to be the most loved, trusted, and effective brain training program in the Southeast. And finally, our third finalist is pushing into new frontiers of care in mental health. This is Scenic City Neurotherapy. Let's watch their journey as well. In the heart of Chattanooga lies a beacon of hope and healing, Scenic City Neurotherapy. Founded on a vision of revolutionizing pain management and mental health treatment, Scenic City Neurotherapy began with Amy and Charles Miller's shared dedication to patient well-being and community welfare. Setting them apart is an unwavering commitment to ethics, independence, education, and quality outcomes. Scenic City Neurotherapy takes pride in providing better individualized care better treatment options, and better outcomes for patients. With core treatments, transcranial magnetic stimulation, and psychoplastogenic medication that can offer life-changing results for conditions like depression, PTSD, anxiety, and more. Care doesn't end with the patient. Scenic City Neurotherapy is contributing to Chattanooga's well-being, supporting local causes, offering career opportunities for students and recent graduates through partnerships with Chat State and UTC and providing specialized care for veterans, first responders, and frontline workers with the nationally recognized SCENE service program. From groundbreaking treatments to compassionate care, Scenic City Neurotherapy is more than a clinic. We're a lifeline for those seeking better lives. Scenic City Neurotherapy, here to provide better for every patient, every day. Congratulations to all the finalists, but now for the winner, the Small Business Award for the 1 to 20 employee category goes to CPR Wrap. Come on down. <laughs> Woohoo, let's give it up for CPR Wrap, everybody. Thank you. 
Thank you all so much. I, I should be used to this because I pitch so much. Um, this is truly an honor. Um, if I were to sum up my journey in two words, it would be grateful chaos. Huge, huge thanks to the vib vibrant, very vibrant and familiar Chattanooga entrepreneurial ecosystem for the fuel and fire. To my ride or die friends and family, especially my husband, Robert, my beautiful daughters, Brianna, Carlicia, and my son, Markel, you're my rock stars who make the madness worth it. This award is for every late night, every crazy idea, and every success and failures that I've had along the way. We're breaking molds, pushing boundaries, and making waves, and most of all, saving lives. Thank you. Congratulations, CPR Rap. Give him one more round of applause, please. Our next category recognizes the hard work and dedication of businesses with 21 to 50 employees who play an important role in sustaining our economy, making Chattanooga one of America's great cities for business. Our next presenter keeps Chattanooga awake at his work through Be, Be Caffeinated. Please welcome to the stage, Chris Wood. Hello, everybody. Uh, I haven't had enough coffee myself today, so <laughs> fix that later. But yeah, it's my honor to present the 21 to 50 category today. Uh, we are all about value and starting with why over at Be Caffeinated, and we have some really cool businesses today that do the same thing. I like to keep things a little less serious, so I've come up with three puns to introduce these people, and I want you to see if you can recognize them. So. To kick things off, the first finals we have is the Chattanooga Football Club. Let's, uh, let's watch their video. In 2009, Chattanooga Football Club was born from a vision to unite the city through soccer. Founded with a deep commitment to community, the club's mission is clear, to foster strong relationships across all boundaries for the greater good of Chattanooga. Setting Chattanooga Football Club apart is its unique business model. More than just a team, it's a community-owned endeavor. With over 3,000 fans owning shares, including 1,800 Chattanoogans, it's a true reflection of local pride and involvement. But their impact goes far beyond the pitch. Through premier men's and women's teams, youth training programs, adult leagues, and charitable initiatives like CSM and Operation Get Active, Chattanooga FC is building community through the world's game. Under CEO Alton Bird's leadership, the club is committed to arranging 160 community events in 2024 alone. In 2024, Chattanooga FC is making history again, joining MLS Next Pro, the developmental league for Major League Soccer. They bring top-tier soccer to Chattanooga like never before. And they're not just upgrading on the field. Finley Stadium renovations ensure an enhanced fan experience, symbolizing the club's dedication to continuous improvement. For Chattanooga Football Club, it's not just about winning games. It's about winning hearts and minds, both on and off the field. All right, our next one, I don't know if you've heard of them before, uh, but you're about to get a real earful of everything about them. Let's watch the Johnson audiology video. In 2009, Dr. Megan Johnson fulfilled her lifelong dream by founding Johnson Audiology, establishing it 
as a standard of excellence in hearing healthcare. Driven by a passion for ensuring effective communication as a fundamental human right, Johnson Audiology has emerged as the largest private practice audiology clinic in Tennessee and North Georgia. From its modest origins on Gun Barrel Road in Chattanooga to its present network of five offices, Johnson Audiology has touched the lives of thousands, embodying its core philosophy and mission. At Johnson Audiology, the highest standards of professional competence and integrity are upheld, ensuring that every patient receives compassionate care and accurate information. What distinguishes Johnson Audiology is its unwavering commitment to excellence and patient-centered care. Through educational marketing efforts and charitable initiatives, such as the Johnson Audiology Hearing Foundation, individuals are empowered to take charge of their hearing health. Acknowledged with numerous awards and accolades, Johnson Audiology's dedication to its patients has garnered the trust and admiration of the communities it serves. Johnson Audiology remains a place where exceptional care and compassion transform lives one ear at a time. All right, we've been really building the suspense here. Uh, I think we can all agree that all three of these finalists have really nailed it, but uh, we still have one more video to watch, and I'm really gonna hammer it home with this video for uh, RP communities. In 2018, RP Communities emerged from a shared vision among a group of friends, blending personal values with decades of industry experience. Since then, this Chattanooga-based company has grown significantly, expanding into Cleveland, Rossville, Knoxville, and Bluffton, South Carolina. RP Communities is committed to providing high-quality housing at attainable prices while offering stable work environments for employees and consistent work for subcontractors, vendors, and small businesses. What distinguishes RP Communities is its dynamic approach and focus on customer experience. When faced with challenges, they adapt and strive for continuous improvement. They put customer experience first, ensuring personalized support for every homeowner, from lot reservation to the end of their warranty period. RP Communities positively impacts the Chattanooga region by offering affordable housing options and creating amenity-rich neighborhoods that promote family well-being. They also give back to the community supporting organizations like Habitat for Humanity, HR Foster Care, and local schools and churches. With a diverse real estate portfolio and a commitment to hiring the right people, RP Communities isn't just building houses. They're building communities and leaving a lasting impression on the Chattanooga region. All right, thanks for bearing with me and my dad jokes. Uh, it's ironic because I don't have any children. So, um, Are you ready for the 21 to 50 winner? Woo! Yeah, let's do it. All right, the winner is Johnson Audiology. <laughs> Congratulations, Johnson Audiology. I'm going to try and come up with more puns while we're walking up. Hmm. Have y'all heard of any? I kind of used that one already, but it's Johnson Audiology. And then who here has been to a CFC game? I hear they're a bunch of Chattah hooligans, you know? But, all right, that's enough. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Megan Johnson, and this is... I'm Jan Hollingsworth, the Community Outreach Director. And my wonderful team at Johnson Audiology and I would like to express our sincerest thanks and gratitude to the Chattanooga Chamber and the Small Business Committee for this incredible honor. I am privileged to have a career that impacts people's lives daily. Simply put, healthy hearing and the ability to effectively communicate makes life better and fuller and sweeter. This year, we celebrate our 15-year anniversary 
serving the Chattanooga area. And I look forward to many more years to come. Thank you again for this award. Congratulations, Johnson Audiology. And now it's time for our heavyweights, our 51 to 300 employee category. Please give a warm round of applause from Master Machine, Warren Brandon. Thank you, sir. So it's great to be here. As a winner of last year's 51 to 300 category. Um, it really has been quite an honor. And as Charles mentioned before, each of the small businesses in the, uh, in the community really have unique journeys. And for the Chattanooga Chamber really to take time for an event like this to uh, recognize that truly is an honor. So we appreciate that. Um, the companies in this final category truly are a driving force behind Chattanooga's growth and development. Uh, here are this year's 51 to 300 employee finalists. Our first finalist, helping people around the world work out in new ways. This is Echelon Fitness. Echelon Fitness Multimedia, established in 2017, is dedicated to providing affordable, accessible fitness equipment and classes for those committed to their health. Offering live and on-demand sessions with world-class instructors, Echelon ensures its community members are supported at every step of their wellness journey. Centered around enhancing the health and wellness of its members, helping them become the best version of themselves and achieve results they never thought possible. Echelon stands out by delivering unparalleled value making fitness approachable and accessible for everyone, engaging with charitable organizations, participating in local events, and serving the needs of schools and children's organizations. Echelon is proud to be Chattanooga's hometown business. Echelon's commitment to Chattanooga extends to its recruitment efforts, actively hiring local talent, and even relocating outstanding instructors to the area. These instructors now call Chattanooga home, contributing to the local economy and community while enriching the city's fitness landscape. Echelon's dedication to Chattanooga and its residents reflect its pride in representing the city as a thriving startup. And our second finalist for this category is putting patients first, and this is Vascular Institute of Chattanooga. The Vascular Institute of Chattanooga stands as a premier medical facility dedicated to providing top quality care for vascular conditions. The Institute was established with a steadfast commitment to offering advanced diagnostic and treatment options, including minimally invasive procedures to its patients. The Institute's philosophy is deeply rooted in compassion, integrity, and a dedication to advancing vascular medicine. Prioritizing patient care, the team at the Vascular Institute of Chattanooga provide personalized treatment plans with a supportive, empathetic environment with the goal of improving the health and well-being of the community by delivering the highest quality care possible. Setting the Vascular Institute of Chattanooga apart is its focus on critical limb ischemia and amputation prevention, making it the region's sole critical limb center. Beyond medical care, the Institute is deeply engaged with the Chattanooga community supporting local charities and giving back to the community that has supported its endeavors. The diverse team, which includes former military members along its physician partners, brings a wealth of experience and expertise to the practice. The Vascular Institute of Chattanooga, making a positive impact on patients' lives, one vascular condition at a time. So the winner of the 
51 to 300 employee category goes to Vascular Institute of Chattanooga. I'm very honored. Um, we were, I was, I was surprised uh, that the chamber wanted to do this, and uh, we um, were, we were very excited to be involved with this. Um, the, you know, the Vasco Institute um, has been in, in alive really for the last eight years, and it was really out of a vision that I had of some of the problems that people have with access to care in our communities. Uh, one of the things that that I think helped us. Uh, move along so well as to have a reason to do something, to change something, to fix a particular problem. And that problem was getting people in and cared for proper, uh, properly. If you had a loved one or anybody that uh, needed to have specialty medical care or, or specialty surgical care, how long do you wait to get in to see those doctors? Weeks? Months? Sometimes? We put uh, together a team that drove that down to three days. And the reason is, is if you have a vascular problem, a mini stroke problem, a problem with your leg, you need to be cared for right now, not three months from now, not uh, three weeks from now. And so we worked hard as a team to really d develop this. Um, the, I have to say that um, uh, I'm just excited to be here, guys. <laughs> And I ran up, and I'm really probably not in that good of shape. So I'm just trying to catch my breath here a little bit. Um, I'm going to put this down. But um, you know, I, I was a, a former professor of surgery for 12 years. That's what brought me here to this community. So I can talk for another 30 minutes if you really want me to go. Um, but the, uh, the the team that I have that we put together over this last eight years, we we now have 115 employees. Most of these people have designations behind their name, there's MD, DO, RN, NP, um, and so it's an amazing group of people that um, really work together to solve problems. I have a group, um, I'm the CEO of that company, I'm the founder of that company, um, that would not be uh, possible if I hadn't convinced my wife to sell her house and, um, and uh, move to a small little place. Um, to get the capital to, to raise that. So I'm internally indebted to Tracy for doing that. She also volunteered to be, um, to work with me, which I thought would never ever happen uh, within the company as a director of uh, social media and, and, and physician outreach. But we also have a number of other directors, uh, uh, Carol um, Malone, who is our um, director of operations. Um, we have Stephanie Sheridan, who's director of our clinical uh, uh, procedures. And um, I've got, um, you will never forgive me for forgetting your name right now. <laughs> Tina Creek, thank you, thank you, Lord, um, for, um, she is director of our um, ultrasound. And so with the, the different groups, uh, we can actually get people in quickly, uh, take care of them. We've got five centers now in the greater Chattanooga region to, uh, to take care of patients, get them um, in and properly take care for, and it's been well beyond my imagination of what w this was supposed to be. I just wanted to be a surgeon, a doctor, take care of my patients. Um, never thought I would put a CEO hat on. Never thought um, I would have to sell my wife's house. I never thought I'd have to fire a best friend. Um, and these are the things you do to um, create the environment that, that's successful for so many people to, to, to be in the right place, be in the right chair, so that they can be successful for, for the company and for the people around them. So the one thing I've, I've learned that Trace and I have learned about um, this community living here for over 20 years is that Chattanooga loves Chattanooga. And this is a great testament to, to everything that, uh, that, that goes with that statement. So here's to the chamber. Thank you very much for this uh, great honor.
and welcome back to the stage, Chamber CEO Charles Wood. Okay, so I didn't include selling your house um, in my list of things that founders do. Anybody else sell their house? Raise your hand. I bet somebody else did. Um, that's awesome. Holy cow. Um, okay, so before I close this out, I have a couple of quick disclaimers. Number one, the chamber does have a nepotism policy. I should say that. Number two, Christopher taught me all the dad jokes I know, so y'all should know that. And number three, I hate puns, and I think he did that on purpose. So, <laughs> all right, so... With that, I want to thank our finalists, um, and I want to thank all of the folks who have been a part of this. Um, absolutely want to thank our award winners today. Um, we've had some great companies that were nominated for this, some incredible companies that are here in the room um, that are finalists, and of course, some, some phenomenal folks who are, who are winning awards today. Um, I, I absolutely want to thank our sponsors again, particularly our uh, our, our lead sponsors here tonight, which is Chambliss, uh, as well as Six Story. So thank you so much for, for your support. Um, you guys missed a great panel with Chris with uh, Six Story yesterday as part of Entrepreneurship Week. Uh, so fantastic from that perspective. And then want to thank um, Stratton Tingle, who brings the energy that I wish I had all the time. So thank you for that, uh, Stratton and, and the Chamber team. And so uh, Melissa Wallace uh, leads our event work here. She is fantastic at it. She takes care of all the details, which is amazing. So appreciate her and the rest of the Chamber team bringing this together for us. Um, and so if you would give me one last round of applause for all of the finalists and all the award winners today. And if you didn't get enough chamber, um, you can come back and join us on May 23rd for the Leadership Chattanooga graduation, um, which our, our friends at Austin Hatcher are hosting. So thank you so much for that. Um, or Diversify, which is June 12th. So with that, thank you so much. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Thank you.